Houthi rebels attacked two tankers in the Red Sea. The first was a Panamanian flagged vessel en route from Russia to China, while the second was a Liberian flagged vessel owned by Greece and the Marshall Islands. This was reported by U.S. Central Command. The U.S. Military Department's publication indicates that the Iranian backed Houthis carried out multiple attacks on the Monegasque tanker MT Bentley I which was carrying vegetable oil from Russia to China under the Panamanian flag. The ship belongs to Israel and was managed by Monaco. The Houthis used three surface vessels in this attack, one unmanned surface vessel and two small boats. It is also reported that the Houthis later launched an anti-ship ballistic missile from Yemen towards the tanker MT Bentley I in the Red Sea. The Central Committee noted that there were no reports of damage or casualties. The Houthis also attacked the Liberian-flagged crude oil tanker MT Kyos Lion, which is owned by Greece and the Marshall Islands, in the Red Sea. They used an unmanned surface vessel to carry out the attack. The marine drone caused damage to the ship, but the tanker MT Kyos Lion did not request assistance and there were no reports of casualties. Such reckless behavior by the Iran-backed Houthis continues to threaten regional stability and endanger the lives of sailors in the Red Sea and the Gulf of Aden, the Central Committee said. As the American side points out, the Houthis claim that they are acting on behalf of the Palestinians in Gaza, but they are attacking and threatening the lives of citizens of third countries who have nothing to do with the conflict in Gaza. The updated data from the U.S. Military Department says that over the past 24 hours, a CENTCOM forces successfully destroyed five Iranian-backed Houthi drones, three over the Red Sea and two over Yemen. These UAVs were determined to pose an imminent threat to U.S. forces, coalition forces, and merchant vessels in the region. This action was taken to protect freedom of navigation and make international waters safer, CENTCOM said. A fire has broken out within the perimeter of Harar Airport in northeast Erbil. This airport houses a substantial number of U.S. troops and is equipped with Patriot defense systems. Shafak News reported on this with reference to its sources. This U.S. base was frequently targeted by drones until recently and played an important role in shooting down many Iranian drones that were en route to Israel. A local source said that a fire broke out in the area of the Harar military airport located on the outskirts of Erbil, the publication reported. It was noted that firefighters were sent to the scene and the reasons are being investigated. According to unconfirmed information published in the media, a group of drones attacked the Patriot anti-aircraft missile complex, barracks and fuel depots. Since the war between Israel and Hamas began, U.S. and coalition troops have been attacked many times in Iraq and Syria. The U.S. has accused Iran of actively facilitating rocket and drone attacks by Iranian-backed proxy groups on its forces in Iraq and Syria. Tehran denies these claims, saying groups engaging in the attacks were doing so on their own accord. The groups in Iraq who have targeted U.S. military assets say the attacks will continue as long as the U.S. supports Israel in its war on Gaza. The U.S. has taken several retaliatory actions against the Iran-backed groups in Iraq and Syria. Amid the increasingly high tensions on multiple fronts in the region, U.S. officials have repeatedly said they do not want to see tensions boil over into a regional war.